with a clear colored eye base and I'm applying that all over my lid around um, the edge of my eye and even a little bit underneath my eye and blending that with a finger and then I take a matte taupe color and a round fluffy brush and just place down the shape of the eye that I'm going for hers is slightly cat eye but also quite rounded um, in the video and um, that's partly due to Brittany's eye shape which is a little bit different than mine but we're going to do what we can here. So I'm going to take a soft gray shadow and a soft black shadow and mix the two together to get the almost black color that she has in her eyes. With a crease brush I go right into the socket of my eye and then blend through the crease and down towards my lower lash line. Get a little bit more product and then I actually follow my crease all the way into the bridge of my nose. In the video she has it quite dark all the way around. Then I take a flat brush and just lay down a little bit more color. At this point I started switching more towards the black just to kind of make that line much stronger than it was. Then again altering between going from the crease down to down towards the uh, actual lid and lash line. And for me I switch between the fluffy crease brush and then the flat shader brush because I think it gives me the most control over how much product I lay down and then how I blend it out. Taking a little bit more of the black and just going into the outer V. Then I'm going to take my pop color, which is the color is when I turn my head, you'll be able to catch a little glimpse of this. And I'm um, doing a hunter emerald green. Place that in the outer third of the V, basically the outer third of your eye at a slant. Not going past where you've laid down the black color and just kind of drag it across towards the lid. Not covering the actual eyelid, but definitely going to where about your um, edge of your iris is. Then I'm going to take my lid color and a small small shadow brush in this case and just pat the eye color in the light color and I want to go from the inner corner all the way out to the edge of my iris by laying down the dark color first and then going back in with the light it just kind of helps blend everything look or most already blended when you lay the color down make sure you get the inner tear duct kind of slightly down onto the lower lash line and blend out then go all around where you've laid down that color with a fluffy brush just basically patting, stippling around the edges. Then just make sure you darken any areas that need it. For me it was by the bridge of the nose and the crease. Then I'm going to take my highlight shadow which is soul eye shadow. It's a light cream color and just pat that um, all the way onto my eyebrow bone. I actually take this color and um, go all the way around the edge of the color even to the outside V where you normally would not place color just because I feel like it adds a nice glow but contrast at the same time to the darker color. When applying your highlight make sure that you're taking the shadow and patting it directly onto the um, skin and then brushing it downwards and then after you brush it downwards you feel like it still needs a little bit more you can go a little bit back and forth motions on the edge but typically you're probably still going to need to add a little bit more color which you'll see me do here in a little bit but just kind of patting it all the way around by basically stippling the eye color you're blending it as you're laying the color down I felt it was a little bit too light so I still went back through and brought the color over onto the lid just a little bit more to make it look more more blended. I'm going back in and darkening any areas that I think need to be. Now I am kind of a perfectionist when it comes to this so I spend a lot of my time blending probably too much but um, you know so do what you wish if you have the patience go ahead but if not you do not have to blend as much as I do. Just going back through and adding a little bit more of that pop color because I felt like it kind of got disappeared when I laid down the hi highlight area. And of course you see me blending yet again. <laughs> it was quite hard to get her exact eye shape when looking through all the different screenshots but I did the best I could. Now taking the mixture of the black and gray, I'm going to put that all underneath my lower lash line first as a base with the shadow, then adding pencil on top of it to really make it a dry, drier texture than just the pencil alone. And that way when I went back and added a little bit more of the eye powder 
um, it really clung to underneath, which is what I wanted because I really want it to look smoked out. <coughs> I want to make sure that that part, um, right at the very part where my top lash line and my lower lash line connect, is very, very dark. It's just going to help my eyelid look much more lifted. Now I'm going to take a liner, a flat liner brush, and get a mixture of the, um, well not a mixture, but the green color that I used, whatever your pop color is, and I dampened it and laid it down. That way when it starts to dry, I can really blend it out there and the sparkle still would still come through versus where if I let it dry completely or when it's soaking wet, it'll just buff right off. So just kind of smoky now. Don't be afraid to go really smoky on the lower lash line. You want it to kind of look like a, almost like a C shape all the way around your eye. I'm going to get a little bit of kind of like twinkly sparkle dust and add that to the inner corner of my eye and also to the very highlight, most highlighted part. And I, if you need to fix any part of the shape of your eye, this is where you can just take the highlight powder or a flesh tone color and go right around the edge. Then I'm taking a peach liner. I'm going to line the inner rim of my lower lash line. I don't want it to be too harsh, but I also want it to have a good kind of um, definition against the lower lash line. I took a liquid liner that had green and black flecks because she uses Swarovski black crystals on her lash line from what I can tell. And so I'm going to try and mimic this. So I'm taking the liner, the black liner, and then a liquid glitter liner and laying that down, then taking some loose glitter, patting that over where I placed the uh, my brighter glitter liquid liner, and I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to take my liquid liner and mimic the uh, crystals she had, so I placed some dots down. Now her brows are quite natural in the video, and I like the shape of them, but since I am blessed with no eyebrows, I am going to fill mine in just a little bit, but try and keep it as natural as possible. You definitely don't want to make them look like they're painted on. It would just, just detract from all the work that you did on your eye. <coughs> I always use eyeshadow. I just think it looks kind of the nicest. And just take that and put that... Uh, all over the hairs using brush kind of marks like if you were painting little hairs on. Now I added to decide to go back and add the glitter all over the black liner once it was dry and just a little bit more glitter powder in kind of uh, spaced areas and then take the black liner and go in between those again trying to mimic the crystal like look she had um, on her eyeliner which I quite like. I'd like to be able to try that one night. All right, and this is it. Enjoy the pictures, guys. Thanks.